Hello everybody, welcome to this edition of Mr. J's Geek Corner. A place where we talk about anything and everything that is geek, whether it be TV, comics, movies, or video games. And this week we want to do something a little bit different. I'm sure everybody out there probably asks, how in the world do you do, take the time to do a show every single week? And I thought I'd go, I thought I would this week I would show y'all. I just came up with this idea. I actually just come up with this show just two minutes ago, actually. <laughs> and um, and I thought I would show you. I thought I would show show y'all just what goes into making making Mr. J's Geek Corner. And, and I thought I'd show you a little bit behind the scene. And first of all, it all starts with an idea. And I'll start with an idea. And I'll show y'all. These ideas right here. That, I mean, if it wasn't for having, uh, it wasn't for coming up with things to talk about, there wouldn't be a show. So, this is previous shows that I did. This is this is all that goes into show planning here. Just thinking up an idea and expanding upon it. So, and this is previous shows that y'all probably seen. The best Godzilla movies, and everything. And it just and like I said, this this notebook right here, at least two, at least several pages is nothing but show ideas, show prep. That's a lot goes into show prep. And so, and as a lot goes, as I said, first of all, thinking of an idea and then thinking and expanding upon that idea. Other thing, another thing that goes into to it is getting your material. And just as a sneak peek of a upcoming show, a sneak peek of a of an upcoming show. Um, I thought, I guess, I guess you get a behind the scenes peek of an upcoming show, but getting your material together, and whether it be DVDs or comic books or anything, and I say, you know, I say, well, you get your DVDs or comics or movies together or anything like that. You get your movies together or anything like that. It's just, you just gathering material and gathering material together. So you can do show on your show and everything. Another thing is it goes it goes into Mr. J's Geek Corner is nourishment. And y'all don't know it right now, but in the background sits my lunch. A rib witch. And I guess they could call it catering. It's um it's back. Just basically, you know, say keeping your strength up when you're doing all these shows and everything. That's what I do too. Okay, you got it. I say, gotta keep your strength up when you're doing all these shows because whether y'all know it or not, I actually film all these shows in a number of the, in all in all in one day and just space them out. And just and it, it just, I just space them out over a certain amount of time. Believe me, that saves a lot. That saves a lot of time and energy, and just say it enables you to make more ideas and make more you know, make more ideas for more shows to come. Because if, to tell you the truth, if I didn't do that and I come up with a with a I guess a, a, a mental block and don't have any ideas, there isn't going to be a show that week. So I come with all the all these ideas ahead of time. And I film them all in one day, if you can, in one day. And and then I just space them out. And I guess you can say my that's my secret. I I just take the I just actually just change shirts and just come back here. And like I said, and that's another thing that goes into it is um, wardrobe. And as a sneak preview of another show. This is what I'll be wearing in a future episode, probably in the episode right after this. And um, this, is, this is a shirt I've had for several years now, probably I'd say about four or five. And I said this is going to be for the, for the next episode. And I said all I just all I do is just change out of this and make the next one. And I said it just it's like, see, it takes a lot of wardrobe, a lot of time, a lot of idea, a lot of thinking, hard, hard, hard thinking, because. I say it's not it's not just me. It's um it's me and my beautiful, beautiful wife who comes up with some really good ideas, a lot of which I've done on this show. 
And uh, so, like I said, I hope that in the future some more varieties will be on this show. I mean, I, said, I love I love it when we brainstorm together, when we geek together and um, brainstorm together. I love it. And I said, and I said, there's a lot of her ideas. I, matter of fact, I'll tell you which one ones were hers. Let me see. Let's see. Um. Let me see. I'll find it, dude. Bear with me here. Don't want to look at that. Don't want. I mean, spoiler alert. <laughs> let's see. Um. Let's see. Here's one. Um, superhero parodies that need to be made into their own comics. That was her idea. That was her idea that I I expanded upon. But that was her idea. And TV shows that need their own comics. That was her idea. And I said, there's plenty more on this list that I'm reading right now. I'm looking at right now that were her idea. That are her idea. And also, comic and sci-fi franchises that need their own hero clicks. That was her idea. Those are all her idea. And believe me, I appreciate. Believe me, uh, 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 comics that should be made into TV shows. That was her idea also. So if it weren't for her, there'd be a lot of times where there wouldn't be, there would not be a show. And I'm really appreciative to her for helping me come up with these shows, like this, a lot of these shows like this. I mean, a lot of them are my idea, but there's there's some, there's a good number that's also her idea, and I appreciate her helping me come up with these ideas and helping me expand upon them and come up with these lists, some of these lists and everything and things to talk about. I'm really appreciative of her help, and I love her a lot for that. And I know she's hopefully going to be watching this, but uh, uh, so I love you, honey. And um, like I said, it's just awesome to have somebody to help you come up and help it loves the same things you love and reads a lot of the, some of the same things you read and likes to watch a lot of the same things you like to watch and and just and just helps you to be able to it just it's a lot of help to be able to come up with stuff like this and I said, I'm really appreciative of her. I said, I'm really glad to be doing this show. I mean, it's fun. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of work, but it's fun. It's real fun. I wouldn't do it if it wasn't fun. <laughs> I mean, that that's that that goes without saying for a lot of things. But as like I said, it's just so it's it's loads of fun. It's loads of fun. And I hope y'all enjoyed this little behind the scenes look at the making and what goes into making of Mr. J's Geek Corner. As always, if you have a comment about the show, um, drop me a comment in the comment box. And uh, if y'all have any, y'all have any ideas about the show, I'm about to. I'm to tell you the truth. I'm about to do a show that somebody pitched to me. I ain't gonna say which one it is, but I'll say I'll say it when I get to it. I will. I will definitely say it when I get to it. Who would, um, what the, uh, that it is their idea, but for right now I'm gonna keep it a mystery. And that I'm gonna do. Uh, like I said, always I'm always looking for new ideas. And say, and say, I'm coming up. I am gonna do an idea. I am gonna do a show based on an idea that somebody actually sent to me. And that's like I said. This is why I say, if you have an idea for a show, drop me a comment. I would love to hear your ideas. I would really, because I really would. I would really love to hear your ideas. I'm always looking for new things to talk about. And like I said, and said, this is why. Like I said, like I said, this is why. I said, it goes in a lot. I said, this show is a lot of hard work, but it's fun. And I said, I always love to hear from y'all. I, I, I said, I love to hear your comments. I love to hear your ideas. I said, I'm always looking for fresh things. And like I said, coming, uh, like I said, when I get to that, when I get to that show, I will give credit where credit is due. But for right now, I'm just going to leave y'all hanging. <laughs> uh, like I said, just send me a comment. I would love to hear your ideas. I'd love to hear your comments on the show. It would be very much appreciated. And I'll see y'all next time.